Hey guys, Vada Kid again. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. In the previous episode, we finished off chapter two and got further in the story. In this episode, we are going to find the next heart pillar. Let's go ahead and flip. Now, when I was little, I always thought that you had to go up here in order to go where you need to go, but that's not the case. You don't go up there till much later. Alright, well, let's go ahead and keep going. And now, uh... Hmm. Alright. Now, I believe we actually need to go down this pipe right here. Let's go ahead and go down it. I'm, I'm just trying to remember because I don't remember everything about this game. Even though it's one of my favorite series, I don't remember everything about it. Alright. Um... Oh yeah, we actually need to put Boomer right here. Go ahead and throw it up. Or as the demo man would say, KABOOM! And you can see some storm eyes. Which turn into little babies, which you can kill. Now, I think if we go further, we can go ahead and flip. Go ahead and change our pixels to slim. And then we can go on through here. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this. Yay! Let's see what this is. There's the door to chapter three. Now, little side note, this actually took a lot less time than I thought it would, so we're gonna go ahead and get into chapter three right away. All right, go ahead and flip. Going through here. Now, I believe there's actually an open window somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. It might be behind this thing, actually. Or not. I could have sworn there was an open window right there. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... You know what? I'm, I'm lazy. Let's go ahead and use the return pipe. Alright. And now let's go ahead and start up chapter 3. Suck this up. <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. Since my let's play of Naughty Bear Panic in Paradise. Mario. Mario and his new friends opened the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Marie's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Are these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flimsa. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3-1 When Geeks Attack now those of you who like throwbacks to older Mario games, you're gonna love this world. Now, truth be told, the first video game I've ever played was Mario Bros. 3, so this actually puts a lot of good memories in my mind. Alright. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Well, I... I got super rare pizza lead butterfly. My friends at... My friends at Dizzy Butter that year are going to frequently get a word in this fight. I miss running at home. I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. No way I'm going to entrust my digital and record me out to tape an episode so epic. This is so high technical. So high technical. So high technical. Huh? Whoa. 
Oh, 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 a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel, now that that freak Francis has got her. Alright, well, starting off this chapter, we can go ahead and check that if I want to, but truth be told, I don't. So, let's go ahead and keep going. Now, you'll notice that these Koopas actually have not sunglasses on. So, yeah, they're normal Goom they're normal Koopas. But I don't know if that means they're regular Goombas are normal in here as well. Alright, now... Hit the block, Mario. Thank you. That's just so we can get over there. Let's go ahead and save. Now, if you were to explore further in this level, it would tell you jump in here. And this will lead you to the underground world from Super Mario Brothers. This is actually a really neat in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, now those of you who know about Mario Brothers, or at least played Mario Brothers when you were little, will know all about this little place. Ow. And you would also know about... Ah. About the little secret that's further up. Like if you were to, uh... If you were to go up here... You'd actually find a warp... A warp place. Just like in the original Mario, so that's a really neat drawback. I'm glad they did that. Alright, I think this is where we need to go. I don't know for sure. Alright. Yep, this is where we need to go. Now, those enemies up there are called Soccer Koopas. They kind of remind me of the Koopas that- HALT! Sorry if that messed up the microphone a little. Yeah, you, this is Bowser's castle. And his brilliantness doesn't like chumps like you getting up the place. You're about to get a complete complimentary nose job, courtesy of my shell. Come on out, fellas. Yeah. Come and come and get some. Oh, you know I out. Oh, you know I will. Come on. Finally. Oh, you know I will. Alright, there's a hammer girl right there. We don't normally see those till later. You know what? Let's go ahead and use a shroom shake. Now, I'm gonna save cooking items until the live stream whenever I get 100% of this game. Also, speaking of which, there's going to be a- the live stream for the quest for AAA will continue February 7th, so... Twitch- so just follow my Twitch and you'll know when it's about to start. Please tell me someone didn't just blow up my awesome lair. <gasps> hey! I know that stash from somewhere. Mario! And in this bitch! Why do you always have to do that? It's like the hundredth time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up. Uh, not, not this time. <laughs> oh, that was a glitch. But now you've entered a fortress of pain, Mario. No more sequels is gonna. No more sequels. It's gonna end right here, right now, once and for all. Ah, nice little incident to break the fourth wall. Now, I think we can actually put that down, and you can actually press one to set it off early. Little tip for you guys. Ow. Also, be sure to avoid him if you can. Alright, go ahead and jump under him. I mean, sorry I didn't get to explain his attacks. No, I hate Mario. It's not fair. Mario! Are you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, Princess Peach. My lovely wife. Your wife? What, are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? Say it, that sham was not a wedding. What are you doing here anyway, Bowser? How should I know? I was locked up in Count Black's stupid castle. And when all of a sudden, BAM! Me and the minions woke up face down in this field. Then we found this awesome castle and I thought, 
hey, why not make myself a lair? Well, you see, Bowser, we really need your help. Will you come with us? Wait, what? That Blix is trying to take over the world. Black God was married just to make a chaos heart so that he would destroy the world? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is why we need you to help us find the pure hearts. No, I don't want. I think about if I was help. I think about if it was for you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be a big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. But, but I'm Bowser. I'm grade A, 100% prime cut final boss. I'm going to take over the world any day. No way I'm helping Mario. He's always thrashing my awesome plans. For me? No, I don't want. If I can't let takes over the world, you won't have the world to take over. Or just say the world ends is not going to be a world for me to tr me to rule. I know what happened before being into a cup by Count Black. They've been brainwashed and now this now and now they do his evil bidding and not your evil bidding. Now your minions will have to toil under a different cruel and merciless master. But what? Why you? Why you? Fine, I'll join your stupid quest. You happy? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Bobby. You're so sweet. No, I'm not sweet, and I'm not helping Mario just to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule someday. So don't get all cuddly with me, Mario. Alright, Bowser, you big sweetie. And Bowser joins the party. Now, Lord Bowser! Your crabbiness, are you leaving us? What? Oh yeah, minions. Hold down the fort till I return. Your lair is safe with us, sir. Oh sir, it seems that Count Black has brainwashed some of your loyal hench people. They're probably going to be forced to attack you, so feel free to dole out punishment. Of course, we'd love to come along, but defend you, defend you, but... You know, we just, uh, get in the way of your heroicness. Clobber, clobber, that count for us. Yeah, anyone who wears a cape and a monocle is just begging for a beat. Long live King Bowser. We'll miss you, your surliness. Your surliness. Oh, you guys. Fine, come on, let's get your stupid precious heart or whatever. I SAID MOVE IT! Alright, now controlling Bowser, we can actually hold it down to shoot fire. And he may be a little slow, but that's to be expected. So let's end off the chapter and end off the episode. End of chapter.